there's two levels of happiness. One is I call reactive or conditioned happiness, dependent on something else. And the other one is fundamental base, basic well-being, and it's more connected with inner way of happiness. If we have a good balance between these two, I think we can live life quite happy. If we only chase or look after reactive or conditional happiness, because this is part of the impermanent, changing, moving, and time to time we get disappointment. And because of that disappointment and our expectation doesn't met, slowly it creates some kind of dilemma in our body and mind are part of the blockages. So we have you know, this tendency to look happiness always outside and totally forgot inner happiness. So I'm not saying you should not uh, have a external happiness because I call that is bonus. But we should experience fundamental happiness which is our birthright. Okay? Can you do? Drop the, all the thinking, thought, holding, this and that. Yeah, no, what? Just drop and then aware of your body. Can you do that? And I will have a little bit of mantra. This one you need something shaking a little bit. Can you do this? Not like this. Oh, well. Move your I'm not crazy, okay? Don't worry. And think, who cares? So what? Who cares? Who cares? You take, do it together. Till the back. So what? So what? Then one, two, three, drop. Just relax. Let it go and relax. Without thinking, without judging. Just know and feel the feeling of your body and the subtle body. Let it go. And relax. and be as it is. Rest in the body. Aware the body. Feel the feelings within the body. Without judging. None judging is the kindness. Simply aware of nowness. Not holding, not pushing away, and not grasping. Let it come and let it go. Stay in the free, open moment. Free does not mean nothingness. Free means you are not clinging and not blocking. Free means allowing. Let allow everything. 
whatever arises, just let it come in, come up. And stay the openness. Free of fixation. Free of gluing. But not blocking. And rest. And just relax. We don't need any reason to be relaxed. Just relax. Could be anything. Feelings, emotions. Of course, we experience that. We are not sleep and we are not dead. We are life. Life means full of things. Just experience and relax. Maybe some emotional things come. That's fine. Be kind to it. Emotions, blockages, issues, whatever arises, just say hi. Just experience raw phenomena without processing. Good and bad, pain and pleasure, hope and fear, all have a room within this openness. Openness is not discriminated way. It's unbiased. Let it feel free. Even the thought have a room but not clink, not grass and not fixed. Freedom with stuff is not essence of experience. That is called vacancy, not as an organic, gluten-free freedom. And dairy-free. And this freedom includes everything. Whole perception. Every perception, every experience, every phenomena finds its own room or openness. And we are the host of this perception. When this thing happens, the beginning of openness is manifesting. No neglecting, no chewing, just feel the wind, feel all your experiences. We are so lucky we have this kind of experiences, can experience. Human has this ability to experience. Openness and happiness are connected. When phenomena feels free to appear and dissolve, as beginning of freedom starts. Without judging, without clinging. As it is, we don't have authority to manipulate perceptions. Simply allow, experience, 
both openness and the perceptions. Through this, something change might arise. Some internally shift might happen. Some mental and physical knots are starting to open up. Movement in your physical body also starting to experience. Based on non-judging, connecting with your body and the feelings, emotions, making friends with them. Best friend is not judging and also not clinging and giving free to whatever arise and whatever vanish. Through this practice, experience, some deeper happiness will arise. It's more than material, more than sony vayu. And this joy or happiness is connected with basic free, basic freedom, inner peace, and out of that we will experience some form of love. Love. I call essence love. This doesn't depend on external condition, but it can be experienceable, can be experienced. And there's the happy. And what kind of happy? Happy without reason. Just happy. Now you can look at me, it's okay. Just happy. I know it's strange. If you look for happiness, we will never experience real true happiness. Or somewhere there, with the balance, with the kindness and non-judging, connecting and aware of ourselves, be kind to whatever is arising. Could be beautiful, could be ugly, could be painful, could be pleasant. Just say hi and give a space and host it. Openness is the host. And everything harmonized within that <coughs> sorry, everything harmonized within that openness. Then we will experience freedom, inner freedom, inner happiness. Inner love is not depend on objects. It's within us. We have to change our focus a little bit. Bring inwardly a little bit. And connect with our resource. As a Buddhist we call Buddha nature. Awakening state, suffused by compassion and love. But if you look in the wrong direction, it's hard to find. If you look into the right direction, it is there always with you. I don't have a power. If I have a power that someone asks me, can you take all my emotion away? And I said, yes. <laughs> and I took emotion, 
I am sure after two weeks, the person will come to see me, beg me, please can I have my emotion back? <laughs> How can you live without emotion? But, you know, seemingly pleasant emotion, unpleasant emotion, they're both coming from the same door. So you cannot close the door. Or you cannot push away. Let it give, let give time, it will open by itself. It's called self-liberation. But we have to trust with that freedom, openness state. And with the love and compassion to hold, hold it. But not as a rigid way. Just simply aware and know. And it, because it is impermanent, it will change. But we have to wait it, wait without any manipula manipulation. Mm. Okay, one more try. So when I say, who cares, so what? Sounds not Buddhist. <laughs> but you know, what I'm saying is, you're holding too much based on care, some kind of thing, and the strong attachment come, grasping come, and we hold on, anything comes in, our mind and emotion, like a rock. But it actually is a water. Okay? Let it go, the distorted way of grasping. So, if I want to hold this tissue, how much strength do I need? Shall I hold like Nepali way? Nepali way is like this. They don't hold. That's why they're happy. <laughs> but many places you hold like this. So what you're doing is unkind to the tissue. You're holding more than tissue need. So this is name of the care, love, you hold it, but actually no need. So chant some mantra to the, from the neocortex to the amygdala to hear that. And to ego, our poor ego is working too hard for us. And said, ego is okay, a little bit relaxed. It's fine. So ego will know what to do. Ego will listen to the boss. So the boss said, Ego, you work so hard. You work 52 years. Which are my ego. So you now relax a little bit. Trust with that openness. Trust with the freedom. And then... Oh, really? <laughs> See? Habit. So you need constant care, keep talking to your other part of the brain and body. And one day the reptilian brain will do automatically in the right amount of strength. That is the end of the story. But right now, like that. So you need a little bit sun and drop. Oh, I feel itchy. I want to hold. Okay? So, but you feel funny if you want to make like a spiritual mantra, then you just put Om at the beginning <laughs> and Soha at the end. Om who cares, so what, Soha? <laughs> Om who cares, so what, Soha? <laughs> because I don't want to get your spiritual banana upset. Huh? So how do you know this is right or this is right and this is right? Hmm? This is the right way of holding or this is the right way of holding or this is the right way of holding. So you don't need to reply but you need to know. So only thinking might not know. So try this and you find alternative place different experience and how 
you see, feel from that, and how do you cope the world from that, then I think we know. So let's try. Hopefully, you'll find some other place can cope with the world, not with this way. <laughs> Morning, you go office a little bit around three o'clock. And at five o'clock comes like this. And based on this, how are you going to perceive the world? You will perceive like this world. <laughs> if you are like this, no, you will perceive the world like that also. Please think of your child. Think of your partner. Think of your parent. You want to give them like this? I don't think so, no? You want to give them? The joy. You come here, and the buy some flower, honey. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honey. Will <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> but I think you give this gift. I think honey will more appreciate the openness, the intrinsic value, compassion. Not suppressed, not choked. Very beautiful state. And there's a love, the essence love. And from the essence love, the expression love comes to your partner, to your parents. Wow, they know. We have a neuro, neuroplastic city. City? Neuron, they can catch your blessing. But if you come like that, the world is about to crash. And they will transmit into your child. And then you're still looking for some other happiness. Want to buy a Sony Vio. Of course, we have this openness, love, care, free Sony Vio. Wow, I call bonus. Bonus? Mm -hmm. Bonus. Say so nicely. At least you can do one word on the yeah. bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. So change or orientation? No. Change the orientation. Yeah? Uh. Change the emphasis orientation. Style a little bit free, a little bit spontaneous. Find the, that area in the heart, in the mind. Please connect with that more and more. A lot of beautiful things will come out of that. And inner beauty and outer beauty combined together lives our life in a beautiful way. Not only that, you can give gift to our loved one. Through that, we can contribute to the world peace. Please start from home and please start from your mind and from your heart. Don't cut up in the unnecessary stuff. Drop it. Relax. Find your fundamental openness. Is your right? Out of that, experience this essence love. Just love. And there's some happiness. And this happiness is not conditioned by any other things except reconnected with your basic well being. And it's very, very easy. But we have to remember again and again. 
then we do need to connect again and again. And this is a one way of Buddhist meditation. It's just connecting with your basic nature and cultivate that again and again without blocking the phenomena. One day every phenomena comes into a flower way, beautiful way. But we need to put a little effort. And this effort will come from mindfulness and not from forgetting. And through the mindfulness we are aware of our basic nature. And nurturing that is called meditation. Meditation means cultivation. What you're going to cultivate is again these four points. And within that definitely there's some kind of inner freedom arise. And with that there's a little bit of joy. Again, this joy is not a conditional joy. It's not a reactive one. It's just like that. We have a two eyes, two legs. It's our nature of human beings. With that, we have a humor and playfulness and joy and love and compassion. But we didn't connect with that. We connect through, through our five sense and sensory object. And we believe that that is the only reality. We forgot the experience self. It's time to connect again and again. Thank you. I, I don't want to say so many things, then it's go up to here. I think you are full of here, no?